this previous step has a table and the table has two columns. One of the columns is the column data and it, within each cell of this column, I have smaller tables, I have tables. And I want to combine these tables. So I want to combine all the tables that are in column data. So that's what I'll be asking here. So jumping to the last step that is still named cost custom one, I'm going to say table dot combine table dot combine open parentheses then i need to have the tables as list and i can say look at the previous step that's the name of the step and then to indicate a list of tables uh, i pressed uh, square brackets and in here i type the name of my column in the previous step that has the tables that I want to combine. Okay, so combine all the tables that are in this list. When I mention a column, a table, and a column within that table, the result of a column is a list. So in fact, this is a list of tables because all the tables are within that column. So now I'm going to press enter, and this is the result we got. Before we analyze that, I'm going to uh, rename this step here just because custom does not tell anything about what happened here so combined tables and I don't leave a space on purpose because query step names without spaces will avoid us having to type the hash sign and the double quotes we can just type the word and it's so much cleaner so for example here if the step instead of being removed other columns if the step name was, let me rename this. And if I come here and I delete the spaces. And then enter. Let's see what happened here. You see how much cleaner now it looks? Power Query automatically changed the code and it says, OK, so if the step does not have space characters, then I don't need to put a hash sign in double quotes there. Uh, for the table name. So much uh, cleaner, much uh, easier to read. Okay, so now let's see what we got here. We got a column for each one of the people. So when we combine tables, what happens is if those tables have columns that have common name between the different tables, that same column from all the tables will be aligned in the result of this combination of tables. If a column only exists in one of those tables, then the column shows the data for that table and shows null for all the other tables. That's what, for example, Lucille here only appeared in one of the tables, not the other ones, so it will show null for everything else, okay? But the product table was a column, if we go back here, all the tables have the product column, not table, product column. So all the entries will be combined within the same product column here, okay? 